want to thank our head pastor for this opportunity given to me. It's not easy. Your guy is standing and you have to be talking. But uh, it is well in Jesus' name. Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate that. Hallelujah. Can we bow down and pray? Father, we thank you for this hour. We worship you. We adore you. Because we are here for you so that you can speak to us. Touch us, renew us, strengthen us, bless us, and make things uh, anew in our lives in Jesus' name. Father, thank you for our homes, our businesses. We give you all the glory for our lives. We say, Lord, be with us. Teach us the more. In the name of Jesus, we commit our parents unto your hands, our brothers, uncles, sisters, we say, touch them. Have your way in them, in their lives, in Jesus' name. Father, help us so that they can hear good news about us always, in the name of Jesus. So we will continue to hear good news from them too, in the mighty name of Jesus, so that we can have the peace that you have ordained us to have, in Jesus' name. For our country, Nigeria, have your way, in the name of Jesus. We thank you because it has been you that has been with us. Thank you, Father, because you will continue to strengthen us the more in this land that you have made us to be in the name of Jesus. None shall be put to shame, but we shall come to dance to the glory of your holy name in the name of Jesus. Your word has declared that we will all eat in plenty. We will all be satisfied. Because you are the king of glory that supply all that we need. Father, we thank you because we will continue to praise the name of the Lord our God. Because you will continue to do wondrous things in our lives. And we thank you, Lord, because none of us shall be put to shame. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Put those hands together for the king of glory. He is worthy. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me to tap someone and said, you are blessed. The favor of the Lord is upon you. Hallelujah. Have your beautiful seat. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. In Jesus' name. This morning, we are just going to discuss and talk about a few things. It's things that you have known before. It's just to remind each and every one of us this morning in Jesus' name. Uh, I want us to see the book of Psalm, Psalm 37, verse 19. It says, I, who did he say? I will not be, I will not be what? Be disgraced in hard times. Hallelujah. Even in famine, the I will have more than enough in the name of Jesus. TBT says, even in the time of distress, I, the Lord, will watch over me in the name of Jesus. And as the Lord watch over you, I want you, be, I want you to be assured that it's, as he watch over you, he will continue to lead you through. Don't be afraid. Don't get tired. Don't be worried. Because he, the Lord God, ha, has spoken. I want you to hold this word each day and tell to yourself. Tell it to yourself. I will not be disgraced. Because the Lord God has spoken concerning me. He loves you so much. He cares for you so much. No matter what is going on in the country, the Lord God is with you. That's how important you are. When you step out, he's there watching over you. You sit down, he's watching. If no one watches, don't worry, don't mind. Just go because God himself is watching over you. And let's see the book of uh, Job. Job 33 verse 28. Just hold this word all through this uh, 
uh, this week. God rescued me from the grave. Whatever it has been, know that God is there to rescue you. Is there because he's watching over you. He that watches, he's the one that can rescue you. And he said, he will. So no matter how things you, the things are doing, the things you see are the things, and the, the things you see and the things happening around you, know that God says he will rescue you and he will and now your life will be filled with light. Amen. So whatever that has been darkness in your life, I want you to look over it, forgive yourself, move on, and call unto our God who will show forth his light in your life. And it shall come to pass in your life in Jesus' name. So it shall come, tell yourself it shall come to pass in my life, in the name of Jesus. And Ecclesiastes chapter 2, verse 9 says, So you became greater. Who are you? Greater. You became what? Greater. Than all who has lived in Surulere, in Lagos, in Nigeria. You became greater. And what again? And your wisdom never fails you. Because you have the wisdom of God. So you can never be, be down or you can never fail. Why? Because you are like a bamboo tree. A bamboo tree is strong, solid, durable, and is the fastest growing plant. Uh, can they show us the bamboo tree so that we can see? That is who you are. If you have been looking that, who am I? I am like something to compare yourself with. That is it. So sometimes you'll see it. Look at this picture and know that is who you can compare yourself with. Hallelujah. That is who you are. A bamboo tree spent three years under the ground, growing roots under the soil. It had the foundation it needs to flourish and keep growing. Three years. Are you growing your roots on the soil of the word of God? So that at every season, you can stand. Three years under. Many more have given up. I don't think this can grow again. The same way they are talking about your life. The bamboo tree spent three years growing roots under the soil. In the past three years, what have you been planning or developing yourself to do? What? In the three years, have you given up? Are you confused, distracted, worried? Or do you join to say things that you ought not to say? Are you troubled? Because you have not seen anything. Small by small. God says he will start with you. In the name of Jesus. Job 8, 3, Job 8 verse 7 says, And though you started with little, you will end with much. Amen. Don't worry yourself. Be focused. No one has seen anything coming out of you. That is good. So is the bamboo tree. I 
I know that we live in a life of hurry, 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 hurry. Everyone wants to make it fast. But start small. Don't you start small. Never end small. Hallelujah. This church starts small. It started with husband, wife, and a boy. So never worry how you started. Those who want to start big and small. So don't rush. Why? Because all that they have, they have gathered it, no experience, nothing, and everything will go. They end up small. That is not your portion in Jesus' name. Start small. The world starts small. It was in the beginning. God created what? The heaven and earth. In the beginning, it started small by small. So if you are starting small, don't get worried. You are coming. You are growing. You are going somewhere. And in three years, we shall see you. When you are, now you are seven feet, six feet, five feet, four feet. But before then, when you were in your mother's womb, it started small. So starting small is not anything. I want to blow. You want to end your life. Don't join in blowing anyhow. Youth, don't join. I see I want to follow. I want to be among friends. He's making it. Anything you are making without God's hand is trouble. Yahoo plus, Yahoo, Yahoo. They are making it. I must join. Join what will give you long life. Start small. There's no harm in starting small. Our Lord, our God started small. Even Jesus started small. In the manger. Today we are calling him. Everyone starts small. Don't be ashamed of starting small. Remember that when you started growing, you grew by what? Sitting, you are there crying, you are there walking, and gradually. You are who you are now. That is God at work. We grow up by growing up. We go up by growing up. You don't jump up to grow up. That is why those who jump up comes down. So I want us to always know who we are. The waiting time is no problem. It's the time to have more strength. It's the time to learn more. Hallelujah. And we saw that within the 24 hours, the bamboo plant that seems non-existent for three years can now grow four feet in just 24 hours. Are they showing you? Hallelujah. Within 24 hours, our God will show you out for good. Yeah. But we need to be patient with him. We need to understand that we are here for a reason. Lord, what do you have me to do? I remember when we started the farm, he loves chicken. And he told me, and uh, the story was long. And we just made up to start just at one corner by the side of the house. And later on, we got a place and we, were, we used it. Before we got another bigger place, acres, and we were, we were doing it. There, I was learning. I learned so much.
what? I learn how to pack the sheets. I learn how to give injection. I learn how to make feet. I carry it with my head. And I learn so many things. But do you know what? God is good. Before Boko Haram started, my husband says to the north, Two months, three months before we ended, we are not doing the farming. And I said, I want to go and do it again. I love taking care of this space. Then the school came, and the Lord says, you love taking this space, taking care of this space very well. You are doing it well. Oh, come and see when one is sick. I have to buy the injection vitamin P to give so that you can survive it. You can take care of the school. I said, oh, I've never done this. Only children's church. When God takes you to a journey, he knows where he's taking you to. He knows the end. When he starts with you, it's just for, him, for you to learn. So when you are in a kiosk, Know that very soon you will have a shop if you take care of the kiosk. Very soon you shall have a warehouse. It's how do we take care of it? For three years, you can't see it's been planted there. The war, the Lord is taking charge. The same thing, the Lord is taking charge of your life and watching you. Forget about her pastor watching, the pastor's watching. Forget about that. The Lord God who made you, who created you, who ordained you to be here up to today is watching over you. And he has an assignment for you, an assignment for you. I don't know if someone is watching your place of work or not. God is watching you. So do it very well as if it's unto the Lord. Sometimes it's 8 o'clock, we need to get to work. They won't get there, they won't know that. It. Then when we are signing, you see we sign 7 a.m. They do it in the school. They don't know that I am already in the school by 6 a.m. Then I stay somewhere. Don't tell them. I stay somewhere nobody knows. I don't park there. I trek in. Sometimes I ask someone to drop me. Then I start going. And I see someone writing 6 a.m. And I will just smile. Sometimes for months I will I won't say anything. I just be looking, watching. Then I give another assignment of throw some peace. And I see, or push a child. And I see the reaction. I said, this can't be really trusted in this area. Let me tell you, we are not useless. Where you are good, I might be very weak in that. Where I am weak, you might have so much strength. But in the case that we are weak and strong, you are not ready to do nothing. That is the problem. And sometimes you look at it. If I suck this person, I'm not sucking only the her or him. I'm sucking someone to follow. But did she know? Did he know? That is how we are doing our handling our own businesses. Forget, don't take it that it's because it's not her business. If it were yours, the same way you would treat it. Maybe, maybe a little better. A little better. And it will not be far. The, the journey of where God is taking us to will not be as far as as he has ordained and planned it for us. Tell your neighbor, wake up. Ah, 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 we are not saying it well. Wake up. The Lord is watching you. He has 
assignment for every one of us. One day, there is nothing there, not even a little green above the surface. And the next day, thought is tall bamboo tree. You have nothing now. Nothing now people will see, nothing in you, but next time they will see you and see the glory of God in your life. They will see that you have grown tall in God's mercy, in God's grace, in God's glory, in God's blessing. In the name of Jesus. You will have overnight success. In fact, what will you call that? Overnight success. Ten years nothing. In 24 hours. And he said, can it be? Is it not sister, bro, oh, driving that car? Maybe Juju. It's not Juju. It's not, is it Juju? It's not Juju. It's God at work. When God says amen, is amen. And there's nothing anyone can do about it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You will have mind-blowing results. In the name of Jesus. You will have mind-blowing success. And miracles. In the name of Jesus. You will wonder how it was possible for things to God to show forth what he has been doing underneath. A bamboo tree is used for toothpicks, comb, cutleries, house decorations, writing pads. There was one day I went to the uh, market and I saw cutlery made with bamboo. I bought it. The bamboo tree, the fork, the knife, it might not be that so strong. I thought, but when I opened it, it was. That means none of us are useless. I looked at this. I said, that means I'm so important. If this can be used, I can be used even greater. In any area you are, know that you can be used mightily. So never look down on yourself. Because you are loaded, full of ideas, useful. And you are never useless. Bamboo tree bend, but do not break. When you see, but oh, sometimes when any little thing comes in, you do what? Hallelujah. We just do what? We are down. No matter what is happening with you and around you, bend. But don't allow anyone or anything to break you. You are allowed to bend. If it's bending you, you see some people are like this. I'm just trying. But don't let it be too long. Rise up. Rise up. Always be willing to continue to sow to the Lord. Work for him. Continue. Because God, 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 the king of glory, is here to work wonders in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. I want us to know the small is beautiful. I want us to know that it's necessary to start small. So when nothing comes forth, he's showing forth. You are starting from somewhere. You are learning. It's a learning process. What is small? 
Some might say 100,000 is more. 500 is small for some. 500,000 is small for some. One million is small for some. Isn't it? It's how we use it that made it small. How do we use it? You give some 100,000, 50,000. You say, what will I do? Then they sit and eat with it. Buy Coke. Donuts. Today, tomorrow, Coke. Uh, 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 chin Chin. Coke. Puff Puff. What will I do with it? Things are so expensive. Why, what can I do with it? At home, I started popcorn using our pot. Oh, we were once using a small room. After three and a half, three by six bed, we just have a small place that we can pass, put our bucket of water and food. Start small! Let me to shout to someone. Start small! And we started this popcorn with pot. And we were popping, pop, 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 pop. Then buy nylon and tie it and go to Mala. Dozen. One dozen. So all around. You can't get your money that day. But they will tell you. And you will plan it so that if it's Monday, you will collect Monday all through. When they said, nah, 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 we don't want to buy, I'll give you two more. After one dozen, take two more, just to have more people. So, no matter, no matter the amount you have, hello, you can start something. You can. Remember the, the, the parable, the parable of the talent. One was given, one, how many? Five. One, two, one, one. The one does with five and two went and trade with it. The one with one hid it. Tell your neighbor, that is not me. That is not me. Hallelujah. Yeah. Go and trade. You are working, do business. When I see the young one sitting without doing anything, I know it does to work. No, it, that, you just want to, you will tell some people you need something. You have to say it and say, oh, try me. Say it once. I will pursue you. You won't have rest of mine. <laughs> As I'm knocking, I'm leaving a little note. Because this is an opportunity. You don't know how far it's going to go. Any opportunity the Lord gives you. Use it. He makes you to sweep. Oh, it's a good opportunity. You can't take it from me. In the village, they say, Babegde, Yahoo, Babegde. I said, that's Yahoo, Babegde. When we are in the church, this is what we are working inside the church. No fellowship, no service. During service, you can call me, I will answer. When we are working, cleaning, I will join, I will carry buckets. It's an opportunity. There will be a time I will show you all that I can't carry that bucket. What do I say to the Lord? What do you want me to say? Sometimes we feel so big. And I look at all the, ah, I will have gone to supply. The rain was so much. We were doing the sweeping outside. And he said, eh, mommy, rain is coming small. So I said, are we salt? <laughs> God created us, and he gave us this rain. Let's enjoy it, Jare. Let's enjoy it. I can't go to supply. I can't go. I would have gotten there around eight. If not for the, the rain was terrible. What is terrible? Put your dress inside the nylon. Roll the one you have, go. Get to a place, a toilet, quickly change. And, sir, ma, how were you, sir? How were you? Be there before them. We must make it in this church. Yes. Do you know? 
not a joy when you have millions, you have millions, you have millions, you have millions. The joy together when you need to spend 50000 without blinking, somebody says, don't worry. Another one said, I will bring twenty. This one, I will bring without feeling it. Then we can rise to say, hey, for him, hey, for her, we need to give 500,000 each. And some people just contribute, pa, 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 and they give. That is what we are meant for. For one another. To serve if you don't love who you see every day. Do you think you can love God? Be ready to serve. Be ready to walk. God is growing you for three years under the ground. Think. Wake up. Because he's bringing you out and showing you out for good. In the name of Jesus. Starting small gives you solid foundation. Starting small helps you to gain experience. You have, a, you want experience. That's the best way when you do it yourself. Practically. Not the one they wrote in the book. Yeah. When you do this. Have you seen some? Like poetry. When you write all oh, how to raise the bears and how to get money. All our lies. It will not work. You have to be there. And the method you use will turn how much the gain you will have. Forget about calculation. I'm not saying it's not good to, it's good to, it's bad to calculate. No. Very good. But don't rely on that. You know? Starting small makes your brain work better. Because God will not give you everything you need. But God will load them in your brain for you to think true in Jesus' name. So that you can exercise those brain. He needs to. Every step you take will be stress-free progress in Jesus' name. As you go step by step, you will cover kilometers. But when you lean, what will happen? There will be limit that you can go. So don't give up. Keep going step by step. Don't sit and say, God, now God bless them all. Now God, now God help them all. You are not left out. You are so important. Your friends are important. Your neighbors are important. Call God to assist. We need. I saw it during the prayer and fasting time. We didn't pray for ourselves alone. We prayed for everyone. So pray for everyone. I want to assure you that what you labored for will not waste. In the name of Jesus. Don't rely on quick money. Any money you, that, is, that comes so quick, you see that quickly, you waste it. You don't know. When you get money accidentally, it got lost accidentally. So just identify with the smallest. And greatness will identify with you. In Jesus' name. First Peter 5, 6. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Are we getting something? I can hear us. God will expand his word in your mind in Jesus' name. So humble yourself under the mighty power of God. 
And at the right time, he will lift you up in honor. He will lift who up? Me. I want to assure you, he will lift you up. You are in the right place. Just be joyful and the Lord God will lift you up. Tell the Lord, here I am. Just bow. Here I am. Help me to humble myself. Help me. Help me to know that I am in your power. Help me, Lord. So that you can lift me up. I need a lifting up by you, from you. Lift me up. Honor me. Help me to serve you to the end. Help me, Lord, that my faith shall be built up in your word. Help me to continue to trust in you. I am hidden and forgotten. But for now, just as you have done with the plant, the bamboo tree, help me, Lord. So that I can shoot out. I give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And our Lord and our God, we thank you. We give you glory for this morning. We said, King of glory, we heard your word. Father, teach us more. Teach us the more. In the name of Jesus. Help us to always walk with you. Hold our hands and lead us in the name of Jesus. And as you lead us, help us never to depart from your ways. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Shout a big amen.